What up, y'all? Today, we're going to be taking a look at Ballad of Antar. We're going to take a look at the publisher company. We're going to take a look at the developers, as well as the synopsis for the game or the premise of the game, the announcement trailer, and the gameplay trailer. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the publisher. Here, Infold Games, who are the publisher of Ballad of Antara, they've only published one other game so far, which was the Infinity Niki, an open world video game developed and published by Paper Games. Now, I didn't look too deep into this to see if it was actually out. From the looks of it, it's not. That also leaves that open. But I think this game was also showcased at China Joy. Next, we're going to take a look at the developer. The developer is Tip Tips Works. That's crazy. You got two S's in there like that. I almost made my tongue twerk. Tips Works, developer headquarters in Shanghai, China, and a subsidiary of Giant Network. It is known for Pascal's Wager. I've never played Pascal's Wager before, but it's supposed to be out for PC and Switch, which is the only other game that they've developed. Came out roughly three years ago. Worldwide release for Switch was two years ago, so I could go and play it should I so choose. I could take, take a look at like some of the footage and all that, but I'm probably not going to do that here. I'm going to do it in my own time. So I just took a look at Pascal's Wager. I'm not entirely sure if I kept it in the video or not. I'm not going to lie to you about that. But from the looks of it, I'll be honest, Ballad of Antara looks like it's leaps and bounds like compared to that. So it's kind of like similar to when Hello Games, I believe is their name, where they went for making like the Joe Jet Ride or the Joe, I can't remember the name of that game and did Into No Man's Sky. Like it seemed like a crazy leap, a similar situation, except this is more so in the same genre. It they're making a crazy leap in terms of, I want to say, technical achievements or technical specifications into Ballad of Antar, because Ballad of Antar just looks incredibly better than this. But there's also more fluidity with Ballad of Antar compared to Pascal's Wager. I don't know, I might have to play it to see a little bit more, but I will say that trailer did not do it justice. I'm not gonna lie. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the synopsis of the game. And I had to go to the PlayStation Store since I couldn't find the synopsis on the main website. So on the PlayStation Store, the premise of the game is pretty much in a distant land, a mist-like phenomenon devastates the common world with unknown malice. Begin a perilous journey, seek towering divine creatures, retrieve those twist and lost essences of the land, become emissaries, powerful entities, that wield the force of fundamental essences, experience unique classes, gameplay capabilities, and enticing mysterious stories. Explore the para, the otherworldly dimension where danger lurks at every corner. Seek the truth inside and recover the essences of the world. Explore handcrafted gameplay space with intricate exploration oriented level design. In other words, it seems like the levels are gonna be more so enclosed. Because I didn't see like the keyword open world there. So it seems like you're going to get linear levels, which are fine. I think we need more games like that, if I'm going to be completely honest. And it seems as though there are going to be a lot of bosses here. And you're going to have more so a uh, traditional Souls-like leveling system. From just listening to the, the, the premise of the game or the synopsis. So from there, what I want to say is we're going to go into the announcement trailer. I do think that there's a lot of promise to this game, but I just want to say, look at that Pascal's wager. It's, it's making me kind of rethink things. Like my excitement ha was like up here and now it's like here now. I, I, I need to, I need to see, I need to see something great from this. So, so far the reception is good. I'm hoping it remains that way. Let's go ahead and get into the announcement trailer. Oh. Stars. Stars. Shields. I have seen the miracles you so claim. Tips works. Until the towering shadows vanished into the mist. Actually, I believe this was showcased at China Joy as well. I gotta rewatch really China Joy. But all that came were inferior shades. Oh, we have please. to bear the consequences of such powers. Time. War. Mortality. These essences shall not fall into your treacherous hands. Ooh. Ooh. Away with emissaries. Grant us the forgotten miracles. Rain fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what was on the website. Holy. Okay, 
Yeah, that looked crazy. Remember, no matter what happens, we did not betray this world. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Another game that's coming out next year. Another game that's coming out next year. Now, this this looks really, really good. I don't know how much of it is just purely cinematic and how much of it is actual gameplay because I'll be completely honest with you. Right here looks just as good as right here. And some of this might all be just, you know, cut from cut scenes. I don't know. But it all looks phenomenal. I will say, looking at their previous work to looking at this, it does make my brain jig a little bit. It makes my brain jig a little bit primarily because if this is real, you guys deserve like some type of reward reward for best improved, in my opinion, if this is real. I'm hoping that it's real. But let's go ahead and move on to the gameplay showcase next. Still, still a good reception, still a good reception. That's a big, that's a big dislike number though. But let's see. Okay, I got it on HD. Gameplay showcase. We just got put up when did this come out? Two weeks ago. Okay, we good. We good. Info. Of course, info. I'm probably gonna look into that Infinity Niki game too. Because as y'all know, I've been looking into a lot of games that have been I guess a part of the uh, China China project by Sony. Okay, Yoho, who you be? Captured from in development game build. All content subject to change. That scares me a little bit too. I'm not gonna hold you. Cause most people, they don't, well, no, no, that's a lie. Some do, some still do put that there rather than just putting alpha footage or beta footage or footage from build 0 0.12566789 or something like that. So I don't know, bro. I just want this to be real so bad. <laughs> I just want it to be real so bad. Oh, come on. I'll back it up. I'll back it up. Ah, uh, I don't like that all content subject to change either. Because it, it goes back to what I was saying about Hell is Us. I don't know if I released that video before I released this one. But in Hell is Us, I said the same thing when they were showing the alpha footage or footage from the alpha build, which is it's important to note because a lot of consumers in the game industry, they don't necessarily care about the process of games being developed. They don't care about how the sausage get made, so to speak. Only like people who either experienced it before or the die hard, die hard care. So with that being said, when you say you're in alpha and you're a year out from your game releasing, that does scare me a lot. And I understand that that builds can be, how do I put it? You can create a build for something, have that build be a template going forward until you're ready to create the next build. And before you create that next build, it could be a year or two from, from that, that point where that previous build was established. I get that. But at the same time, I'm of the mindset that you create a build for the situation. You know what I mean? If you're ready to showcase your game, you create a build for that particular showcase. You don't use an older build, you use a newer build. Because there have been times where companies have tried to dupe the consumer. I'm looking at you, Call of Duty. Because you are infamous for this. You and your ilk are il infamous for this. Where y'all will create a build, tell the consumer that, oh, it's an older build. When the reality is, that's the build that's about to go gold. I'm hoping that this is more so a build that's either closer to being the beta build or... Let's just say 25%, 25% of the way through the beta process, because I believe if you got like a, another year to work on it while you're in beta, only good things can come from it. Oh, it looks so good, though. 
the perfect camera angle as well. Actually, this is kind of this is kind of funny too because where where the winds meet or shoot I say where the winds meet where winds meet had like a camera angle situated like this too, where it made it not feel like a Souls like, but more so like a hack and slash action adventure like similar in the ilk of a Assassin's Creed or a Ghost of Tsushima or something like that. I love the camera placement as well as the perspective of it. Yes. And then fluid movements, nice impactful hits. Just yes. Never mind. I, I, it might have been. It might be me. It might be me. It might be my skepticism. Because god dang it, it looked good. A little bit of super armor on the enemy. That's fine. Most games of this ilk have that. I'm loving the parry. The parry is giving me Sekiro vibes. I wish I could feel it myself, pause. This might not be linear though either. I might've been wrong on that linear front. This might not be linear. Oh, that was clean. Hey, look at Popo. Oh, he beats. He beats. He gave you the suck. Oh, that's kind of dope. I see the dial. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So y'all can see it too. I'm going a, I'm to a do the wop. I'm going to do the wop. And then, because you could also see the skills like on the bottom right as well, right? I keep forgetting my camera be covering it up. But you just use the skill, at least from the kid. And now it's on cooldown from the looks of it. Because he used that square skill. And it looks like his triangle circle skill is still on cooldown. Yep, he used that horizontal slash. Man, I wasn't the one who did. Gay that man to suck. I'm trying to figure out what that skill bar is. Okay, that skill bar looks like stamina, maybe? Stamina or focus or something of the nature. It goes back up per hit. That's kind of dope. I ain't gonna lie, that enemy was kind of a bullet sponge, but it probably was like a sub boss or a, a sub type enemy. Elite, that was the word I was looking for, elite. Elite uh, enemy. That's kind of dope. So you ring the bell hitting down on the D pad. That's fire. And is that a, what is that? Is that an item? I mean, you could have hit that item though. I wanted to see what it was, bro. Oh, this gives me terrible vibes of uh, Simpuo. No, not Simpuo Temple from uh, Sekiro. What's the name of that spot where uh, where the Divine Dragon is? I can't remember the name of that giant. Giving me vibes of that. Damn, I, I take it back, Simpuo Temple. Before you get to the folding screen, monkeys. That thing right there, him. I do see the frames are dropping though too in the game. But given this a year out, if this is if this is y'all build, y'all got a lot to work with. Y'all got a lot to work with. Some people would release their game with just this much that I'm seeing. But then again, I don't know how much of it you actually have cohesively flowing together though. So I'm just going by what I'm seeing. My goodness. All of this wailing. It's in endless.
But then again, you still gotta go through the localization. You gotta get translators for me. from Chinese to English. So it, yeah, yeah, I still got a lot of work. Uh, a lot of work. Just on that front before it's ready for a worldwide release. That's crazy. I got UV itis and I can see some of these things. Normally, I'm, I'm not able to see like any of it. So, do that mean it's that bad though? If I can see it? No, that just means I'm, I'm paying too much attention. I think that's what it is. Oh, so it changes the level. Okay, I dig that. Okay, I dig that. This, this, this kind of remind me of like the Ombu and uh, Lords of the Fallen. I know a lot of people didn't like that guy. I think it was alright. It wasn't the best thing, but it wasn't the worst thing. So does that mean the monkey going for vibe too? Fiku, you coming back? I don't like how his hands just tough like that. Oh no, that's a dragon. Yo ho. Okay, so you got a little mini map up in the top left. I like the movement too. The movement looks extra weighty. legitimately their bonfire system okay cool so it, it's taking some souls like elements but it i'll be completely honest it don't look like a souls like and that's one of the things that i'm loving about the fact that all of these project initiatives are happening india i can't wait to see what y'all come out with too because you, your culture your history is rich so I can't wait to see what y'all come out because I found out that Sony has an initiative for you guys as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what y'all produce. But that's the one thing that I'm liking about this, this whole thing that Sony is doing with giving a lot of these different regions that normally don't have like that capability to produce games or at a, just at a massive scale, at a global scale, so to speak. I'm happy to see that people are getting the opportunity and what we're getting out of it all looks promising so far that I've seen because this is this is basically taking an already established genre and bending it around a lot of other genres if that makes sense or let me not even say genres at this point this is taking pre-existing game mechanics and shifting them and and pretty much putting them in place like pretty much calls to create like, you know, an operating machine so that it can function and have like this kind of familiar, but unique experience. At least that's what this looks like. That 
that was disrespectful. Oh, 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 you did. What kind of creature is that? What in the pills were you Oh, that look cool, though. You got my brain jigging a little bit, but you look cool, though. Why well, my man look like he's smooth out of medieval? <laughs> Where wins me seemed like it flowed like this a little bit too. Except where wins me like how, how would I put it? Where wins me seemed like it was it was more like crouching tiger hitting dragon. Whereas this Nah, see I'm trying to compare it to movies. And I don't think that's gonna work. At least not for this. Could have just said Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. Yo ho. Oh, that was kind of cool, that entrance. You got some good damage off him before you attack him and stuff. That's good, though. Keep it in. Keep it in. Keep it in. Keep it in. Don't let up. Don't let up. So where your parries at? You was parrying like a god earlier. Oh, so we shift? Okay, so you can shift between different characters. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. So you can be either old boy or you can shift the old girl for range. So old boy is close. Old girl is range. Good parries, good parries, good parries. And you almost got a stagger bar down. Go one, go one. Catch him, catch him slipping, catch him slipping. Don't let him breathe, don't let him breathe. Just had to switch to her, huh? Actually, no. She does a lot of points damage. What the? Oh, I think I'm seeing... Okay, I think I'm seeing the floor of the combat. Oh, oh he said bump the staff, though. I respect it. This man went full blown horror loo on you. That's disrespectful. Yeah, 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 yeah. She does a crap ton of poise damage. Oh, a hand physical damage. Or main health damage. <laughs> no, I gotta see that again. Hold up. Hold up. He embraced his inner horror loo after that. Hold up. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tell her I'm tired of it. Mm. Equal rights, equal fights. <laughs> oh, I respect it. Oh, I like that. The, 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 double, the double hit like it's coming out of a... Uh, I forgot what stance that is. In uh, Kung Fu. But if you've watched it, Mom, before you've seen it before. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, you better use that all. <laughs> hey, yo. No, 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 no. Don't try to cut scene that away. Don't try to yada yada that away. No, no, no. Get that boss's kill. He earned that. This boss earned that kill. Ain't no way you about to just be like, cut. Cut, cut to the commercial, cut to commercial. Get us out. <laughs> nah, bro, show it. <laughs> Look at that. This man gave him a full blown combo meal. He did not skip the toy either. He said, here's your happy meal. Enjoy it. <laughs> bink, 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 and bink. Yeah, you should have been dead right there. But what did you activate? So you activated the triangle circle attack, which I'm guessing acts as an alt. It gives you a bit of invulnerability. 
and it allows you to get off a big attack, but you still wouldn't have killed him. You see? Oh no! Oh, whoa, okay, never mind. I'm I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Nah, you earned that kill. You earned that kill. My bad, Brody. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> you earned that kill. I, that train acted like a uh what is it? Final Fantasy 14. Ultima? Ultimate? Limit break. That's the word. Seemed like a limit break that you would do as a DPS. Like, you know, if you played as the samurai class, it looked like that. It even kinda had the sound effects, the Oh, then let me go back to it. Man, caught a whole body right there. Kinda, kinda, kinda. It, it was four sounds though. Cause I think when he gets... No, yeah, it was four. My bad. Ooh, good turn. Also, whoever decided to go with that sound effect, that cinema sense sound effect, Big ups to y'all. This is the second time I've seen I've seen it in a, a Chinese game. Actually, no, I think this is the fourth time. Because Black Myth Wukong has it when you're fighting against Erlang, or not when you're fighting against Erlang, but at the beginning of the game when you're standing where the four heavenly kings are standing there and Erlang is there as well. When it pans up to like one of the four heavenly kings' face, it it does like the cinema sense sound effect. And then where Wins Meet did it as well. And uh, I believe Phantom Blade Zero did it as well too. And now this one. So that's kind of funny. China, y'all, y'all wilding with that. And then as you heard right there on Old Birdo, listen. There it is. There's... Just please. Real. Real. I don't care. Cause I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Black Myth Wukong gave me all the faith in Chinese, uh, Chinese game development. And it looks like you have many different companions with you as well. It's just a smart idea. It's just such a smart idea. Because at that point, you're taking all the things that work for a turn-based a turn -based, um, RPG and you're applying it to an action-based RPG. You're taking that system that's in... You're taking that system that's in Grand Theft Auto V, which allowed you to switch at real time between the different characters and then you're applying that in an action setting where mid action you can switch on the fly switch souls however you're doing it but you can switch on the fly from one place out to the next which makes the gameplay loop that much more fun just be real even if it's just this build right here bro even if it's just this build bro tips works still making my tongue twerk be real, bro. <laughs> Please let this be real. Because <laughs> my God, if this comes out, because I believe it's coming out for the PS5 and PC. If this comes out, bro, because Black, Black Myth Wukong, I'm not going to hold you. It surpassed my expectation. I knew what I was going to get, and they still found some way to make it better. It shocked me. And if what i'm expecting now is i'm expecting what you showed me and to break it down a little bit for everybody right what i'm expecting to see is basically an action rpg game where the levels are linear and in this particular case there are certain aspects where you can change the environment from one to another to encounter different bosses and what have you right but for the most part the levels will be linear that's what i'm expecting you will battle different enemy types in a variant between normal, elite, and boss, right? Which is what we saw in this trailer. Now, the gameplay loop itself will function between you using your core skills, items, and stance dancing, or in this particular case, soul switching between different, different, different characters, which have their own unique move sets in order to keep the pace of combat up 
and to keep the pace fluid. So in particular, you have your melee, you have your range, at least from what I've seen. And there's two different types of ranges. One is very short, very close melee range. The other one is medium range, which is the shotgun chick that we've seen. And the other one after that is basically going to be the long range, which is the bow chick. So you have all that. Then you have a limit break style ability, or let's just say your ultimate attack that you can utilize, which does a significant chunk of damage to the enemy. Now, how much that how much damage it can do to the enemy is probably going to be dependent on your skills that you that you will have, but they didn't showcase a skill tree yet. So I don't I don't know for certain, but my god, bro. If it's real, if it's real, and then the bosses got combos on top of combos on top of combos. They are fluid with their actions. It looks good. It's impactful. And then the limit break ability. Just be real, bro. Just be real. The gameplay loop itself already looks satisfying. The mechanical structure that you have for the game, it looks solid. It looks good. I, is it probably all the way fleshed out it looks like it is maybe y'all still got some tweaking that y'all gotta do behind the scenes but for the most part y'all got something good here i can see it and i ain't even played it yet normally i'm one of those individuals that's like let me play first before i even like get this spouting out the mouth for real for real but it looks so goddamn going good it look it, it like it fully passed my eye test. Normally, I'll see some things. I'd be like, that that, that look kind of jank. That don't look like it's going to function the way that I, that they think it's going to function. It looks like when the player get it, they going they going to break that. But in this case, the the worst I've seen was like some frame drops here and there between like cutscene switches and some actions and all that. But that could be cleaned up with with stress testing and performance debugging and all that. So that ain't going to be too much of a big issue. <laughs> If this is what y'all got, and this is what y'all gonna focus on polishing and tweaking, hey, bro, give me the release date. I'll mark it on the calendar. I'll make sure I got some leave for that day, and i take off just so I, I will shout the good word for this game. But please, for the love of God, be real. Yeah, you definitely getting a life. Be real. Don't hit me like how Lost Aside did when you showcased me your game like 10 years ago, and that bit still ain't out. Be real, bro. Be real. Come out. Just come out. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> Dang, that sound crazy. But either way, I'm looking forward to the game. Thank you all so much for stopping by and chilling with me. As always, I greatly appreciate it. I think I've seen enough of this game to know we're covering this. Whatever they release for it, we're covering. Same thing goes for this. Same thing goes for Hell Is Us. And there's a few other games that I'm gonna I'm look at real quick. And we're going to put those in the rotation as well. As y'all know, we big gamers over here. So we game. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for stopping by and chilling with me as always. I greatly appreciate it. You all continue to drink plenty of water. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Deuces.